Welcome back to another episode. We have made it on this island. We are spending all day on this island to see what types of fish we can catch. The main target is a monster mulloway. We are using lures, dead squid that we've caught, live baits that we caught yesterday. Like that little running sinker and a really small hook. This bait's too big. I think Tyson's on, look, look. Tyson, you on? Yes, nice brim. Little brim. And there's thousands of brim here as well. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Like check this out over here. I don't know if you can see that on the they're GoPro, there, but they are just like, there's small black brim just everywhere, but there's some decent size ones too. <laughs> yeah, baby. Well done, that's a nice one. He jumped in the water, it's alright, don't worry. Oh, he's there, look, get him! He's there! He's there! Oh no! He's lost, look! Oh. Let him live, let him live, he deserves it. Oh, he went that way. There he is, catch, track and catch him again. Oh, oh, oh. Grab it, huh? Trumpeter! No, it's a dream. Oh, it's a trumpeter! Trumpeter! Oh, he swallowed it. Oh no, there you go. Thank you. It's another one. The tide is coming in at the moment. We're gonna see how we go with it coming in. It's really shallow here. So it goes shallow to about 20 meters. So I'm gonna to have to walk out, rig up my live bait, walk out and cast it out. I don't know if it's any good because it's so shallow. I don't know if Mulloway like big holes or they like shallow water, but we're gonna find out today. Let me show you guys what we have as well. We also have the gas cooker. So if we catch a fish, we get hungry, we can cook it up. What have you got? So I just got a little squid that I caught like two days ago off the jetty. Then I have a bigger hook and a smaller hook attached to the same line. So you use small hooks. Show us the hook size. So, uh, how do I say? That Shit. Big? Yeah, straight to the back, the first one. Then the second one I put here because Mulloway, sometimes when they eat it, they just bite it like that, then they swim with it for a bit. So if you have two hooks, there's a good chance that if it just bites the front or something and then decides it want to spit it out, it can probably get hooked. And then obviously if it inhales the whole thing, then also when you have it on the line, having an extra hook that hooks into it just ensures that you can probably actually land it. Because yeah, then you have double, you your double chances. chance. That's yeah. what I reckon happened with me. I've got, still got to show you that. That's. It. Did you get it on video? No, I just missed it, but I've got the, I've got the, what are they called? Trumpeter. With I, I, the bite marks. Yeah, I've got it all. Sick. All right. Yeah, we, just said, just like that. Perfect, man. Eat That's it up. sick. Oh, man, this is going to be sick. All right, I'm going to start. I'm just, I'm going to, yeah. All right, I'm going to start. Ruben's going to start walking out. How far out right, are you going to walk? Just to get like into the bit of a deeper channel there. Oh, yeah, where the deep, where the water is there. Yeah, where the shot. Rocco is loving it. Come here, Rock. I'm gonna quickly walk with Ruben to see how deep it is because I'm just concerned of where to throw out my live bait. Remember, we've only got three live bait, so we've got to be very, very cautious how we use these live bait. How deep does it go there? Is it deeper? Or is it too shallow? Uh, it's about knee high. Do you get it drops or not? Oh, it's getting so. deep. You're taller than me, so. Oh, it's getting deeper here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I reckon in there. Yeah, you're right there. It should be near to those rocks, be a bit deeper here. Maybe I'll go on that edge and throw a line out into there. Yeah, where's this one? It's beautiful, isn't it? So, Robin, I've been calling him <laughs> Ruben. I've even got to save him my phone, man. All the time. So, man. it's Robin. Robin, yeah? Yeah, like Sorry, I heard, yeah. I'm shit with names, so it's Robin, <laughs> not Ruben. <laughs> yeah, I've been calling him. Have I been calling you Ruben this whole time or no? No, only just now. I uh, just now, okay. Yeah, yeah. Robin, okay, cool. All right. What's that there? Fish. <sighs> just thinking, maybe we go up. Is this all rock? Yeah, Rocco, where are you going? I do So this is the live bait we've got. Let me take it out. What are they called trumpet? Are we using trumpeters today? I'm going to move to there. It's still live, good, yeah? 
might tidy something here for now, right? I might just stay here for like 20 minutes, throw the live bait out in there, and just see how we um see what happens. Is that good like that, you reckon, or no? Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Yeah? <clears throat> good size yep. hook? Yep. Now, the way I've been baiting them up, you tell me, so I've been doing it right. I don't want to drop it in the water. Yeah, that's why I said now you have to just make sure that. So that. Yeah. See him swim. Get him in there. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this. What do you think about the drag? Too loose or tighten it? That's perfect. Just leave it? Yeah. Now we just sit and wait. Yep, that's one out. Let's see what bait we got. What do you reckon it is? A trumpet? No, it's no, a brim. brim. Bloody brim. So many brims around, isn't there? Everywhere. Yeah, fishy. So while that live bait's in the water, I'm gonna work this soft plastic around this whole island and see if we can catch anything. You know, it'd be good if we can catch some lunch for today too, because I am pretty hungry at the moment, but in these videos, we never really pull off lunch, do we? But hopefully today we can, boys and girls. Hopefully today we can. Here we go. Nothing on them casts. Let's keep moving around. It feels like the tide's going out when it should be coming in. I don't know, that's a bit weird. Right, let's go on this side of the island, see what's there. You caught a herring? Yeah, buddy, okay. So that's a, a little salmon trout that I just caught on the lure. That was sick. Robin just caught the first fish of the day, boys and girls. It's not going to win any prizes, but I can't complain. <laughs> hey, at least you got something. I got it on a, on a little surface lure, so that was pretty cool, yeah. On what lure? Oh, it's a little one that goes on the surface, if you check there. That's sick. So now we have bait or something to eat later. Do you reckon that's too big? Might be a bit big, yeah. <laughs> for Mulloway? Not for the Mulloway. Um, for the big Mulloway, no, but... It is big. The smaller Mulloway might be a bit afraid of it. But it's not to say it won't work. I actually just haven't thrown big baits, so you might discover something new. Put down in the comment section, do you think it's too big? I'll comparison it with my hand, I'll show you. Yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. I'm going to quickly check that live bait and see what's happening. Let's have a look. Full of rocks here. Still alive. All right, we're just gonna make our way around this island and have a look. Come here, rock. Come here. Get here. This dog is serious or what? See that fish jump in there? How are you gonna catch fish with Rocco doing that? Come here. This way. Come on here. Come here. Get here. You can see the cows on the other side, he's trying to get across. Surely there's going to be something in here. That's deep there. Imagine I get a... Uh, nothing so far. Look how beautiful this is though. I don't know man, what to do. What are your chances here of catching a mulloway on this island? On this island? Out of 10, what do you reckon? Six, seven. You reckon? it's a bit shallow. Yeah. No, they, they are around. Imagine now. Snag. <laughs> no, I'm on. I think there's a fish here. Oh, they're just in the snags. <laughs> I 
No, I think it's snagged. Oh. What's the same with your ox there, is there? Yeah, I think that's where I lost the lure as well, eh? Oh, you lost the lure there? Yeah. There it goes slack. I thought it had a bit of a run. Maybe it was a fish. Never take. Should I dive in? Huh? No, I just think it's worth diving in. Should I go on the boat, maybe? How would that fall in unless they've hooked it? Hey? How would the rod be there? I'm pretty sure they hooked it because when you were walking in, you saw they were like smiling at this side. And that lot, the tag was loose, I wouldn't have pulled it in. Yeah. There you go. I don't know. Ah. Walk that way, maybe, you reckon? Yeah. Oh, come on! <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Oh, oh my god! Yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, what size is that? Ah! Oh my god, brother! <laughs> Look at that. I thought there was a fish on there, bro. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Okay, uh, no, but this is good news because now we know they're here. Oh now my god, I'm gonna throw another one out. Oh, Look at that. Job, I'm spewed, I left. Look how beautiful this thing is, man. We did it. This is yes, why we came bro. to Albany, guys. This is it. I told you. I told you we were gonna there. get it done. I wanna measure him. Yeah. Just be careful of his teeth. I can't right. believe I missed that rod. I left it there, had the drag loose, and it must have taken off. Watch out for a sec, because I don't want to kill him if he's size. I'm pretty sure it's size as well, hey. I'm spewing. I should have stayed with the rod. I missed the run, man. Do they bite marks? Do they? Or no, they do. They, they do, but I think he was tired himself out from going up and down the whole time. Making a weird noise. Yeah, they croak. He is exactly 58. Boys, you know the saying, let's bleed him and eat him, boys. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Such a beautiful fish. Thank you, my friend. <sighs> so I've just bled him and have a look how good that circle hooked work. Look at that. Right in the corner. Spewing, I didn't hear it again. <laughs> so when we walked over there, the rod was on the ground and I thought, well, how is it on the ground? The drag was loose. Yeah, as you guys know, it would have had it in its mouth, chewed it, and then obviously it hooked itself. So you don't need a tight drag, man. Thank you. I'm wrapped. I can't believe it, man. This beautiful creature. This is my first fish I've caught on a live bait, man. No way. First one ever, yeah. First one ever. We're gonna eat you, my friend. Oh, look at my my um my fish is there. Is that it? I don't know. It could be. Or it pulled out. Oh, no, There's another little fish. What's that? That's a little trumpet. 
<laughs> Mulloway in WA, South WA, ticked off the bucket list, boys. I'll take that any day. This is going to be a few fillets for the family now. We are going to try get something a bit bigger on these live baits. And I forgot to say the old words because we caught the fish. Victory! Robin was walking on the rocks and he's cut his foot open on an oyster rock. There's heaps of oyster rocks here. I had a look at it before quickly and it does look pretty deep. Can I have a look again? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Um, Should not dump. How do you feel? Just lightheaded. I'm a bitch when it comes to blood, so. It's hard. When it's on your bottom of the foot, it's yeah, hard. Right. It's hard. It's going to become inconvenient. All right, so we're going to make our mind up what we're going to do. We had to abort mission. We, we can't sit out here all day walking around it'll get too infected and we don't want that so we don't even know if it needs stitches yet so we're going to go back to the caravan now have a look um see if he needs to go to the hospital but make sure you don't go anywhere because alex and i are still going to cook up this fish this afternoon so make sure you don't go anywhere so you can see the end result with that <laughs> Did Dad do a good job? Yeah. Is that because of your muscles catching the bait fish? Yeah. Say no worries, Dad. Hey, good size or what? That is a good size. Uh, good let's job, fix. Babe. Let's fix Robin's leg. They're really cool. They are, yeah. Yeah, it's like a decent. That's really cool. All right, first aid kit. We're gonna put this in the fridge. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. Get your own fridge. <laughs> it's not a great gash. It probably needs. To, that's like deep. Yeah, I know it was deep. Robin, I'll be honest with you. Better to go get a I chuck something on it for now so you stop getting like sand and mud and crap in it. Or maybe just go. But that is nasty. Like Shall that we? is opens, opens. Yeah, yeah. it does. That's you why. That's see, why. Like, if you even just touch it like a little bit like that, it slits right open, and uh, you can see that there's still a lot of crap deep too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like as Rick was saying, if you get an infection in your foot, you you're screwed. Like, you can't walk and you can't do all sorts of things. So Robin ended up going to the hospital, they fixed him up and he was back walking in a short period of time. How ready are you out of 10 right now to try this fish? 200. The fish... Look how long it is, I actually forgot how big it is, yeah? It's the, fishy. The fish has been in the fridge for three days. We've had really shitty weather and we wanted to cook it up in pretty decent weather. So we're going to open it up. Hopefully three days, three days will be fine in the fridge. I, I think right. three days three is days right in the fridge. But down in the comment section, if you think, have a different opinion, if you think three days is too long in the fridge, but I'm going to open it up and we're going to smell it and check it out. You'll know if it's off. Meh. Oh, Morgan. How's it smell? It's going to smell because it's fish. fish. And I know what you're thinking. We should have used Glad, uh, Glad Wrap. Do you know what I want to get? Like a vacuum seal system. Perfect. I reckon too. Come on. I'm going to address some few things. Everyone's saying, Luke, cut your hair off. What do they say? That you look like Mr. Burns. I look like some guy from Tekka and they're like, cut your hair off, deal with your fate. This is I've what I want to do. I've been calling him George listen. Costanza. George Costanza. <laughs> listen, I'm trying to grow. I'm going to fix it. I'm trying to grow the back mullet out. Let me know in the comment section, yes or no, with the mullet. Look at Alex's face, if you could just see her face. All right. I don't mind the hair, but it's a bit too long now. And this is wet. Don't fluff it out, yeah? <laughs> Let's get back to the fish. I want a burger. Mate, if I'm going bald, I'm going to flaunt going bald. It's as simple as that. No, you're not going bald. You're bald. Do you reckon I'm bald? <laughs> The rain's coming down on me. This is the first time that I'm gonna be filleting a mull away. Hopefully not the last time, eh? Did you say the rain's coming down on you? Yeah. That's okay, at least your hair's gonna stay wet now, huh? <laughs> so why don't you come outside <laughs> to tell me? Because when, once my hair's wet, it looks less buffier. Anyways, let's see if we can fillet it. Scales are on. Oh yeah, the meat is white. Now, I don't know if this is a if this is legit, but a lot of people say Mulloway are good eating after they hit like 80 centimeters, which I don't know. Apparently they reckon it's, if you have it like this, it gets real mushy. Not bad, Fielding. Rocco! 
Come here. Pia, are you hungry? Left a bit of meat on there. Look. Rock here. Gentle, 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 brother, gentle. Hey, look okay. Skin off with this recipe, boys. See if I can get it in one shot. It's all bone anyway. All right. Ah, uh, not bad. Take my, take my hand. Take my whole, whole life to forever. I can't help falling in love with my Morgan. Out of it. That's for. Oh. No, you can't eat that, brother. Just quickly, I was going to come out here before Rocco took the fish and tell you guys, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I don't like telling you guys what to do. Get off, Rock! Because I'm going to use this in the next couple of episodes at this spot. So this is going back in the freezer, and then we're going to use him. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. Subscribe and enjoy the videos, guys. All right, let's go cook up this fish because I'm starving. Look how nice these fillets are. Two fillets. We've got all the ingredients here. <laughs> For the meal, what yes. do you reckon, Al? There's a lot of ingredients, hey. I hope it comes out good. That's what I was just thinking. I have been looking forward to Luke catching a white piece of fish for so many weeks that this fillet of fish has been planned for, I reckon, about three and a half weeks. Yeah, Mulloway, <laughs> can't believe it. It's so thick. It's a little bit red, but... It's a bloodline, isn't it? Yeah. How do you get rid of a bloodline? You can cut it out. Okay, I'm going to rinse the scales off. Yeah, rinse in uh, fresh water. You just no, it's fine. That. I know. Make sure it's not hot though. All right, we're going to clean up all the fish a little bit because there's a few little scales on here. And then um, we will get back to you guys then shortly. Then the magic begins. Then the magic will begin. <laughs> and we're not talking in the bedroom. Well, maybe we are. So we've got these fillets for us that we're going to make the fillet of fish burgers out of. And then I'm dicing up some fillets here for the girls for dinner tonight. Alex says the same thing, like when she cooks a meal for them for dinner, like the other night she cooked, um, what was it, you cooked a pie? The lamb pie, yeah. She cooked a lamb pie and the girls loved it and Alex is like, oh my god, best feeling. And it is, because when I catch a fish and obviously they eat the fish, it may, it just warms your heart, you know, it's a good feeling, especially like you've gone out. And it's healthy. And... It warms my heart, yes, Aria, it's healthy for <laughs> them and especially you guys see like all the, the shit that I go through to try catch these fish. I'm no professional, you guys know that, so when it actually pays off. It's the best feeling. And look how much meat we've still got left over. First thing we're going to do is make the batter. So you put one egg, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, like a good spoonful of that because I love Dijon mustard. A little bit of plain flour, garlic, salt and pepper. Garlic, salt. And then mix all of that together. Breadcrumbs into another bowl, and you have to use panko breadcrumbs. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm, I'm so ready. I've been <laughs> waiting for this for like three years, man. Three years? <laughs> I mean, like three months. Since we've been on the road, man, I've been trying to get a mull away. Oh, I've got to finish off my story. And when I say story, we've got to try to capture the whole thing. Tough. It taking the bait, hearing that rod go bzzz, because we didn't hear the rod bzzz, and we need to hear the rod go bzzz. <laughs> so you want to grab your fillet of fish, put it into the batter and like get the batter everywhere. Then from there you transfer that into the breadcrumbs and use clean fingers, not your batter fingers. What you want to make sure is that you like, so flip it <sighs> and you're really pressing like it into the breadcrumbs. Well, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Which I think is actually too much. Look, we've got them three, that one there. It's okay, at least we can have... Fillet of fish again tomorrow. Do you want to? Well, it depends on the taste. Done. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I was going to eat it all today, but I thought, you know what? No, nah, don't pick yourself. Yeah, not pick myself. <laughs> on a van, you've got to be very cautious with food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yeah. food here, like you can't put a lot of food around, so... Because you don't have a lot of room, and then the fridge, it's like, it's moist all the time. It's always wet. Mm. So like, yeah, it's tricky, but... Doesn't matter. Let's get to the good bit. We're going to pop these onto a tray now. Bake it in the oven. Yeah, so I you... don't know how long for though, because they're quite thick, so we'll see. Excuse my dirty oven. There we go. She's on, Jim. Ingredients. 
for the sauce. I'm gonna start with the pickles because I love pickles. Capers, some dill, parsley, mayonnaise. Oh, I can even smell it. It's starting to smell like Macca's now. <laughs> Dijon mustard again. I'm running out. Put that on the Woolworths list. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic salt. Worcestershire. I don't know, but I always use this and I can never pronounce it, but that sauce. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh yeah, now it looks white. Yes, yep, yep, yep. Cheese on top. Back in until it melts. This is the exciting bit, do you know why? Why? Because everything comes together now. Pop these in. Here we go, guys. Oh my god. Father. When? Oh. Before we get into it, let's take two seconds to appreciate Alex cooking it. The beautiful fish. Thank you, fish. Thank you, fishy. We do love you, fish. <laughs> Look at that. This is what dreams are made of, boys and girls. All right, you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Wow, yeah. Exactly. Billy the fish show too. Exactly, yeah. Mm. I'm actually a bit shocked. Mm. Oh. The Malloway. Oh, right. The Malloway just like. Mm, yeah. The Malloway is good. What are people talking about? That is sick. Look at the chunks. Like, as you bite it, it actually chunks. Like, yeah. I'm going to rate this, the whole thing, mm. 8.1. I rate it as 7.4. Why? I put too much sauce. It's a little bit too saucy for me, but overall, mm. I'm very happy with this. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Just don't do as much sauce as me. <laughs> 